Hey everyone, Cerebral Tackle here again today. I wanted to discuss with you guys one of the little up-and-coming favorite baits I have that's a little JDM obsession. It's by the folks over at OSP. This little bait, in my opinion, it's the most realistic night crawler presentation to ever hit the U.S. market. It's called the OSP MMZ Nightcrawler. Now, the particular size we're going to be looking at today is the smallest variation called the Chibi. Now, the MMZ comes in three or four different sizes. I believe this is the smallest, and they just come out with a larger size. So it may be three, maybe four. I forget off the top of my head, forgive me. But this little guy is the Chibi version. As you can see, it comes pre molded, you know, formed with these beautiful little L S shaped bins here in the bait. Now what these bins allow for is a very unique movement in the water. Hook it from the front, hook it from the tail, hook it from the middle. Any way you choose to do it, whenever you pull it through the water, the bait completely straightens out. As you pause it, it kinks back up again into that beautiful little form. It's nuts. Now the first bait we saw a similar design with was the flick shake but also different. Why? Because a flick shake was made to be weighted. Whenever the specific weighted jig head that's used in the middle of the flick shake worm as it falls, it gave a fluttering motion like a natural knot crawler that had been thrown off by a kid from the side of the dock. To whereas this bait relies on the straight pulling motion to straighten out. Whenever paused, it kinks back up. Part of the attractiveness of this bait is its versatility. You can use it on drop shot, wacky rig. Oh, it excels wacky rig, especially when weightless. But also, if you have a nail small enough, like a super tiny tungsten, I'm sure you could almost extreme finesse Nico too. Itty bitty nail in the end, twitch it from the middle, let it dart away, it'll straighten out. As it hits the bottom, maintains that bottom contact, it'll kink up again. A million different ways you can play with this cute little bait and make it catch fish. What I find fun about using the MMZ is the variety of fish that it can catch. Let's face it, many fish eat a knot crawler, right? All of them will be attracted to this little bad boy. As a matter of fact, the first fish I caught with it was this past summer. I haven't had the chance to fish it very much. But this past summer, I got a couple of minutes to go down to a, a pond and just play around with it, right? I saw some scattered bluegill. You know, bluegill love night crawlers. So I thought, you know what? Let's give it a shot. When I tossed it in to these active bluegill, instantly this gorgeous little long ear sunfish latched on. You can tell he's a long ear. You see the blues, the oranges, that red eye. Oh my goodness. And that famous long ear, elongated ear flap. Beautiful little fish. Anyway, this little sucker latched on. And I'm sure you start using the bait, you're going to take a bite out of it too. It's made by OSP. Again, it stands for Osprey Spiritual Provider, a JDM company. And like a lot of JDM baits, they are proven to be fish catching machines. As you know, I'm at home with Kai Tech. My very first JDM bait though, was an OSP double live stick. Pretty good fish catcher. It's kind of what got me started. Once I found Kai Tech, I haven't really looked back, but give this little sucker a try. I think you'll be impressed. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I want you to like, share, subscribe, help us get the word out about the channel. And I hope to have a new series coming along here pretty soon. Kind of Christmas shopping related again for all you folks. Anyway, stay tuned. Like, share, subscribe, and y'all know that drill. Until next time, get out there, keep it wet.